How's it going out there, YouTube? My name is Jesse, and I am back for another comic book video. Now, seeing as how we're still in quality month, I have another couple of heroes to cover in quality comics, and it only makes sense that I would get to these two. They are, let's see, they are stuff, two heroes that have had a fair amount of popularity while they're in comic books and I understand they have a fair amount of popularity in the comic books today even though the transition from when quality ended to where they are now wasn't immediate but I do know that they have their own sets of popularity because of how unique they are so let's go ahead and review the next two heroes that were fairly popular Plastic Man and Kid Eternity Plastic Man Patrick L. O'Brien was first appeared in Police Comics number one in 1941 the publisher was obviously Quality Comics created by Jack Cole um, I'm pretty sure I've got just the quality bio here so here we go plastic man was orphaned at the age of 10 as a result of this he ended up living on the streets and would end up falling into a life of crime as an adult he became a safe cracker playing part of a burglary ring they were trying to rob a safe at Crawford Chemical Works when they were surprised by the security guard. As they attempted to escape, Patrick or L would be shot and a large drum of chemicals would fall upon him and he would be doused with it. Uh, the chemicals were unidentified so we don't know what exactly he was doused with he was able to make it to the streets where the rest of his gang should have been but they drove off and left him there now being disoriented from the chemicals and the gunshot that he suffered he would pass out next to a mountain that was near the city I, I guess that's that's a thing in this world he would wake up on a in a bed in a monastery found out that a monk that lived in the monastery found him and decided to nurse him back to health because he sensed that Patrick had the capability of being good instead of you know being a criminal when police officers came up and questioned the monk he told the police officers that he didn't have any idea where the person they were looking for was. Um, Patrick seeing this, well, seeing this act of kindness with also his growing disillusion with the criminal empire led him to believe that he could actually do good and show a measure of kindness on the same level that the monk has shown him. Now, during his re recovery at the monastery, he started to notice that his body could go through changes. Um, he could shape his body to do other things. He had the property of r rubber. So he decided that he would start using his abilities on the side of law and order. He would don a costume and then change his face. Um, while he was Plastic Man because he wanted to keep the face that he had as a criminal so he could keep a connection with the criminal underworld to know what they were doing and get information to be able to better help crime. So he would keep that identity while being Plastic Man so he could be kind of like a double agent. Later on, he would get a sidekick named Woozy Winks, which I, I hope had done better for him in DC. He just 
it was kind of a ridiculous thing. Apparently, he was supposed to be magically enchanted so that nature would pr protect him, but they later phased that out, and he just became a bumbling sidekick. Now, Plastic Man would end up joining the police force and also become a member of the FBI. And as he was becoming a federal agent, he started to use the Patrick O'Brien identity less and less because he really didn't need it being that. Now, Plastic Man had a number of enemies, but the closest thing that he had to what would be considered an arch nemesis would be a Dr. Dome. Now, I'm not sure the full extent of Plastic Man's powers. I mean, it is hard to find the thing about his powers because when they change later on in the comic books, they change the original Golden Age powers. But as far as I know, he has the ability of elasticity. He basically changes arm in the rubber and I believe that he could change his body into various shapes like I think he could be the shape of a car or a rubber ball and I know in one of the uh, comic book covers he was able to change his shape into a question mark he was one of the first heroes to incorporate humor into his comic book so that's something that he's known for. Plastic Man would premiere as a main feature in Police Comics and his own self-titled Plastic Man Comics. I'm not sure of all the other quality comics that he may have starred in, but I do know that those were his main ones. Kid Eternity. Kid Eternity, Christopher Freeman, first appeared in Hit Comics number 25 in 1942. The publisher was obviously Quality Comics. He was created by Otto Bender, who I have mentioned before. Christopher Freeman was out fishing with his grandfather when their boat would be sunk by a German U-boat captain. I don't know what kind of threat he could have found in a fishing boat, but anyways. Um, what happened is Christopher was killed 75 years too soon. I don't know what circumstances happened to make them think, hey, this kid died before he was supposed to. Anyways... He was brought back to life because he died 75 years before he was supposed to. Upon being brought back to life, he was given powers. And he had the power to summon any good historical, mythological figure or animal by saying the word eternity. And good as in people who would fight you know, on the side of... You know, heroes. Um, he also seemed to have the ability to make himself immaterial or invisible by the same means. Now, he was assisted in his duties by a clerk named Mr. Keeper, and the clerk was the one who found out that Christopher died too early and brought him back to life. I Again, I don't fully understand the circumstances, but Mr. Keeper was able to summon fictional figures. Apparently, at one time, he summoned Jean Valjean, or he was able to summon the witches in Macbeth. Kid Eternity had a number of villains, such as Her Highness and Miss and Silk, Her Highness and Silk, an elderly woman and an attractive assistant who are always trying to go on get-rich-quick schemes. Uh, Master Man, who was 
the counter opposite of Kid Eternity. He had along the same powers and he could summon evil characters. Um, he didn't appear very much to, near the tail end of Kid Eternity's comics. And also the brother of Mr. Keeper who rewarded evil and punished good but would later be but would later be uh, banished for that. Among some of the characters that Kid Eternity would fight with would be Sir Lancelot, Merlin, and Hercules. I guess we were establishing them as being uh, real. I mean, I, I can't speak on whether any of those are evil, but since it's the comic books and, the, and it's a different world from our own world, they could have actually been real then. Kid Eternity, Kid Eternity was popular enough to be premiering in hit comics and his own self-titled comics um, until the war started to end and then the ideas of the superheroes started to wane after that. So Kid Eternity's comic would, would be discontinued and he would lose his features or his lead slot as the lead of hit comics. Uh, I'm not sure if he still premiered in the issues after that, but he wasn't the main feature of hit comics anymore after his own comic was discontinued. Well, I hope you liked this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Plastic Man and Kid Eternity. I know that their their origins from quality are widely different in DC. I, I think even in the DC comic books, Kid Eternity and um, was it Captain Marvel Jr. are brothers. And, uh, I know that I know they didn't do that in the Golden Age. They're both published by a different company. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this and. I know we're getting to the end of the month of June, but I am going to put out one more quality video that is going to be encompassing the end of the month of June and the beginning of the month of July, because we're coming up to the 4th of July, and there's a patriotic superhero in quality that will cover before we start getting to the Cowboys in the month of July. So until next time, I'll be seeing you.